another view of intelligence, we're looking at Sternberg's theory of successful intelligence. Now remember, a theory is a way of explaining a set of facts. Different theories explain different facts and connect the dots differently. Ask yourself this, first of all, how would you define success in life? What would you think it's to be? Notice there are no universal definitions. Think about it. Think about it. And boom! Take a minute. Stop the video. Look at these. These are not right or wrong. These are just some more ideas, and I'm sure you have added extra ones to those. Sternberg's defined this thing called successful intelligence as an integrated set of abilities, not one way of thinking, but an integrated, used to attain success in life however you choose to define it or however it might be defined within a particular context or sociocultural context. Three characteristics shared by successfully intelligent people. First of all, they recognize their strengths. They know what they're good at, and they use them to compensate for their weaknesses. Now, successful people aren't those that have strengths in all areas. They know their strengths and their weaknesses. The importance, by the way, in uh, of uh, this idea in holistic educators that you provide a variety of experiences and teach in a variety of ways using a variety of ways of thinking so people can learn what their strengths are, how they best think. In schools, we generally find out what students are bad at. This is traditional education. And then we drill and drill and drill and drill on what they're bad at instead of helping them find what they're good at and use their strengths to compensate for their weaknesses. Intelligence is problem solving, or Sternberg would say it would be adopting to and shaping your environment. He says successful intelligent people use three types of thinking to adopt to shape and select their environment. Let me give you an example. This will come into clarity. Polly moved in with messy Samantha. She soon found out that Samantha was messier than she had imagined. One trait that particularly bothered Polly was the fact that Samantha always left dirty dishes in the sink. How can she use successful intelligence? Well, to adapt to her environment, Polly could tell herself that it really did not matter. She might also start eating most of her meals outside the apartment. This would be adapting to your environment to shape your environment. She could talk with Samantha. She could create a chart and assign dishwashing days. Or she could hide every dish except one pot and pan and two plates, dishes, cups, and silverware. All right? This is shaping your environment. And the last one, select a new environment. Polly could try to get out of her lease or look for a less messy roommate to trade places with. Adapt, shape, select your environment. These are all types of thinking, all what successfully intelligent people are able to do. And successfully intelligent people, using Sternberg's theory of triarctic intelligence, he said intelligence is to be able to evaluate ideas, create ideas, and make these ideas work in any situation or field. So, intelligence is not one thing, according to Sternberg. It's the ability to use these three types of thinking in any area to solve problems or create products. All right? The ability to generate ideas, to, uh, the ability to analyze ideas, and the ability to make them work. All these three types of thinking are used to adapt, shape, and select environments. Ramifications. Again, teach students how to use their strengths. Teach students to value multiple ways of thinking instead of just this one logical deductive thing that's measured on achievement test and quote intelligence unquote test. And assign or create activities that use these three ways of thinking so that they can more aptly manipulate at deeper levels and see things from a variety of perspectives. End Sternberg's Theory of Successful Intelligence.